man, it's your boy Snack King Cole, and I'm here, and I'm hungry. Now, what I got for you today, I went to Whopper and uh, went and got the $7 holla, which comes with the regular Whopper and the new vegetarian impossible Whopper. Oh, yeah. Is it going to taste like the same? Last time I went to Burger King, which was just a little bit ago, I got the Whopper. <laughs> I couldn't even finish my fries. So we're going to cut this bad boy in half so we can get a little bit of both and uh, see if Kevin Garnett was lying when he said, Anything's possible. Anything's possible. I'm going to go ahead and cut open the impossible Whopper. Let's see what's going on inside this thing real quick. All right. Now I have been seeing the oh my god. Okay. Okay. Look look what they did to me. They just like uh put an extra piece of whopper just on <laughs> you just put like an extra <laughs> Hey, I think this piece is missing. <laughs> and it's not missing though. That's <laughs> this this burger is full and I just got this extra piece. Somebody's missing a piece of whopper. If you're missing a piece of your impossible whopper, I got it. We ain't gonna do that. Uh, but, you know, just like everything else, man, you got your lettuce, you got your tomato, you got your mayo, you got your onions, onions all over the place. Now, my Burger King was busy, so busy to the point I said, hey, I want the $7 holla. They didn't even need my code. She was like, six, three, four, five. I said, dang, girl, how many times you put that in? That's what she, a lot of places are like that. Uh, so we're going to cut this bad boy open. Now, it is looking a little lackluster. Look at that side, you can't even, oh, you can't even see it. But look at that side, you can't even see no meat over there. That's probably where this piece is coming from. But that side right there, you got your tomato slipping out. Get your behind back in there, get, get it back. Mm. You got some ketchup and all that. So we're gonna go ahead and, all right, so we're gonna dive into this thing. You see it's looking yummy. See it's looking yummy. First bite, obviously it has everything that the other Whopper does have. So you're getting them same flavors, that same flame boiled flavor and everything like that. But then when you dive into like the actual meat of the burger, it does taste a little microwave. It tastes a little microwave burgers. You know what I mean? It doesn't taste like a burger. Uh, it's way better than um, them, them Boca burgers that they used to call. I don't know what them things was. I had one of those before. I had to put a bunch of barbecue sauce on there. I'm at least not having to do this with this. I would be able to finish this. Let me take another bite. Yeah, if somebody got me this burger, I probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference. This, this tastes just like a Whopper. Um... It has enough stuff on there where it's, it's hiding the fact that you got a fake burger in here. I think it's pretty yummy. Go ahead and finish this real quick and get to the other Whopper. With that Whopper right there, man, I do feel like it tastes just like the Whopper. I'm actually very shocked about how good it is for being this plant-based meat, uh, this, this fake meat. It got the vegetarian feel. I know you can take some of this stuff off and make it a vegan feel. I don't even know, man. I'm a meat lover, a carnivore, a connoisseur of the meat product. Hi, my name is Grandma, and I like all kinds of meat. Well, I like chicken. Chicken is finger licking. I like ham. I like ham. Hot damn! Would I get this again? Maybe. But it's a little bit more expensive than the actual Whopper itself. Huh, it pays to be healthy. That's why we're all going to die being fat. But that's not here nor there. Let's dive into the actual Whopper Whopper, shall we? Right. Now this is looking about the same. It looks hurt as well. Uh, just because, like I said, man, they were busy in there. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be surprised if they did some things where they just took each other and put them in different bags and was like, have fun guessing which one you did. <laughs> Let's uh, cut into this. You can already feel from the cut, from the cut, like I got to cut, cut this. Yeah, you can already tell that it looks a little different inside. As far as the meat, it looks real. Let's go ahead and dive into it. The 
The meat is definitely more filling. Uh, you can you can definitely feel like um, you can just taste like the fullness of the meat in these whoppers right here. Mm-hmm. 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 Can't fool me, Burger King. This is a real deal, holy feel. In comparison, I gotta give it about a 4.5 though. Because without the fullness of the meat, if you didn't have them to compare to, if you didn't go for the $7 holla, and you just got one of these impossible whoppers, and somebody said, here's a whopper for you, and you ate it, you would kill it. Without any notice of anything, unless you're like, all you eat is Burger King in life. Then you might notice something. You know what I mean? Now, there ain't no way my wife's gonna walk around the house and cut her hair, and I didn't know she cut her hair. You know what I mean? But you guys might notice she didn't cut her hair because you guys don't see her every day. Um, as far as taste and everything like that goes, man, I'm going with a five. You guys have the same taste, you captured the same taste, the same bun. I mean, you put everything on this same burger. But as far as the burger itself, it gives you that flame boil taste without giving you that you see what I just did? I almost had it. I almost died right there from this Whopper. I'm about to go give the rest of this away. It's your boy Snack King called. I'm Let's call it in the crossfire.